Hello guys, it's Mel, and I am back. So, today we are going to be playing 60 Seconds. Now, most of you probably have known people playing the Apocalypse Mode, or any mode. Yeah, basically just the Apocalypse Mode. See, I'm really bad at actually scavenging for stuff. I get stressed out and nervous, so I usually play on the Survival Mode. So, we- <laughs> I've only won this game once, and it was in the easiest version. So, we are going to be playing the normal version of the game. Now, if you guys notice, every other Monday, me and DJ will not be playing together. I will be playing a game, and she will be playing a game. So, I'm playing 60 seconds, and that's just how it's going. So, let's begin our adventure. I really hope I survive this, guys. If we get past level 25, I will pause at level 25. Or day 25. So, oh! This is actually rare. I usually start two people when I do this mode. So, you have everyone... We have a actually a hefty supply of soup and water, but we do not have what was usually there. Oh, padlock. Oh, we don't have the map. One of the map the map was one of the things. Okay, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Oh, we have a suitcase. That's good. So, no one needs anything. Uh, I'm going to skip this. Use this as a missile. Okay, Ted's going to start growing a beard now. Right, I don't remember what usually is right there. Oh, we don't have any weapons either. Well, that's not good. Okay, as long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Mary Jane just didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will that last? Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Okay, since we have a gas mask, I'm actually already going to send someone out. The gas mask will probably be destroyed, but we'll get stuff before people can actually help, help hurt us. Okay, we had the Boy Scout book, which is good for any time there's green goo or anything. So, where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, our pipe is leaking green goo. That's not good, that's not good at all. We need to act now and go, and no one pick, pack them up. What do we do? So, use the Boy Scout book, of course. Okay, we don't want any of our people getting sick on the th third day. Okay. Ha, huh, problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him water. Okay, so we can wait another day for water. They usually will have, they always have a, an extra day. And then they'll start, like, saying they're going to die. So I usually wait a day for water. You can usually wait forever for food, so they're good. Okay, um, this, I think I'm going to send out Mary Jane with the gas mask, and I just skipped right past it. Got it. I don't really need to send out anything else. I don't want her if she doesn't come back to take too much stuff. Okay, so now we have three people. Alright, so Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurts back now. Okay, now you have everyone saying they can't survive without another day of water. And I'm not going to test them, so I'm just going to give them some water. Okay, we decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. The first one is picking the game we are going to play. This took us most of the day and we still haven't made up our minds. <laughs> huh. Okay, I think this is... We might last longer than day 25 if it takes long enough. Alright, day five. We played true for dare. When it turned out we only kept asking questions and the most common are, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that enough games for now. Timmy seems okay as much as he ca he can be in our current situation. Everyone seems okay. Mm. Oh. Oh, this one. We don't have a map so we can't really do anything for them. Yeah, We did have a map. They should give us something in return. I think they did that to me last time. But, you know, sometimes they don't. Okay, we can contain our laughter and our guests took offense. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents and smelled like forest fruits. How rude. Um, Timmy is hungry. Dolores, there's something wrong for her. Nothing with Ted either. Uh, I'm going to give Timmy another day before I feed him. 
We're on day seven. Ted's beard isn't growing much longer, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty long eventually. Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on reality ahead of us. I don't. Okay, so everyone's thirsty. I'm. Yeah, they can. I'll just give them food and water tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Okay, oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. Yeah, we should talk to her, or else she might go insane. Now, she is insane. You don't want to talk to her, but she will make you insane. I've had that happen once. <laughs> um. Alright. Oh, good. We have playing cards. Those are good. How? Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Timmy should eat something. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just get give them food and water now. Okay. Oh, okay. So we are going to listen to the radio. I haven't had a break from just listening to it yet, but... Oh, she got a map! And the gas mask isn't damaged. Thank you. See what else did you get us? Okay, so... Well, we didn't... We did what we could, but we still can't hear a thing. Darn it. Um... Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. The majority of the local gas station was destroyed. Gasoline reserves blew up too, and probably did more damage than the atomic bomb. The only thing left intact was the cashier's booth, along with some cars and the gas price board. War or not, prices are still growing every day. <laughs> there was an abandoned truck in the line for the gas pump. We immediately recognized the logo of a well-known company on its side. Yep, the canned soup company. So we got some soup. A few water bottles were scattered around the cashier's booth. None of it, none of, none of the explosion damaged them. Though it is funny how that Pipe shadow got burned into the wall. So we have one water bottle. <laughs> one of the cans had a map inside of it. After pursuing the chart, we noticed a label which read, Time Machine Hidden Here. A big red X marks the spot. Okay. Um, so Mary Jane is food hungry. I just fed you guys yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna... Oops. That could be bad. Okay, let's save. It might have just been the call of... Oh, no. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that. Sometimes it destroys the map. Okay, food. Food for Mary Jane. I should probably feed her. We have an extra can of soup anyway, so we should. Oh, yeah. We don't need to do this because it's just a phone call. There's nothing happens with them whatsoever. I've never had anything happen with a phone call. All right. Um, it's just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for all of us. Uh, Mary Jane needs some food, water, food for Timmy. Uh, Dulles, water, Ted, water. Okay, so we're gonna give water to everyone tomorrow. And food. Okay, let's just, um, yeah, we probably... Oh, oh gosh, no, uh, I'm gonna save the map, actually, because most things you can actually receive radios from places, so hopefully, and you might be able to fix it also. The map is good as gone as if we lose it. Okay. Alright, so before any of the streams squirting from the water, the walls could hit our map, we tore it down. It was the only thing to not get wet during our little flood. After the water level had dropped, we started cleaning up. We might not finish before the next apocalypse hits. Uh, Mary Jane needs food and water. Okay. Timmy. Okay, so does everyone need water? I'll just give everyone food and water. Alright. Oh yeah, I said someone would go outside. I think I should le let Timmy go. I just need the gas mask. And we don't have a weapon. Like, the only reason I'd be the suitcase if we had a weapon. But we don't have a weapon. And I seem to lose everything else anyway. Okay, so Mary Jane needs some food. Timmy's gone. Dolores is fine. Uh, no problems. Okay, I'm gonna let Mary Jane starve for now. Okay, what is this? Uh, as long as we have. Oh, we probably should just ignore it. Okay. Yeah, it's not any good because we don't have a radio. Alright. 
Is there... If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcasts that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that, or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Uh, so Mary Jane doesn't... She's good. Everyone's good. Okay, um... Let's see... Alright, another radio thing. We don't have a radio! Fun! I'm telling you guys, the map is more essential than the radio. You do need the radio to survive, but I think the map is one of the things you need for, like, the parts. Okay, everyone's thirsty. I'll get them white tomorrow. Uh, traitor. We don't have any bullets, so we can't give them ammunition, and they'll just laugh at us if we get them checkers. They'll think we're crazy, which we are. <laughs> um... We could tell the stranger was disappointed, but there was none of our business. It, if ever was the time to get used to life being disappointing, the end of the world is probably it. Okay, so everyone needs water. I guess we'll give Mary Jane some food also. She's not going to stop complaining. Uh, she found a single plant seed. We had no idea what seed it was, but maybe it's the start of Um. You know what? <laughs> There's nothing really. We have. I think we have enough water. We should be fine. All right. I don't know what's going to happen there. Okay. Here goes nothing. Soil seeds, water. We'll see what happens in a few days' time. Let's just hope these seeds doesn't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Uh, no one is being bothered by anything. Timmy's still not back. Uh, we don't. We're not doing the gambling thing either. Alright. Oh, Timmy's back. Um, no, he didn't bring a radio. Oh, but he got ammunition. Okay, gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. We we're so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. So we got the gas mask back. We like history, especially during national celebrations. Everyone joined in and decorated their lawns and houses. Plenty of fun was to be had. The street doesn't look like it will be used for any celebrations anytime now soon. Not in the next hundred years, anyway. But we had an idea. Maybe something useful could still be found amongst the rubble. We found a refrigerator, refrigerator in the middle of our neighbor's lawn. Even without electricity, the light inside was on. Again, contained quite a, a few soup cans and surprisingly a brown fedora. It wasn't edible. We tried. Timmy? Okay, so we got some soup. Um, um, a band of kids were playing war in nearby ruins. They had plenty of real guns and ammunition. It's very encouraging to see that kids are making the best of the terrible, terrible situation. They even shared some ammunition with us. That's not a good thing, kids. You don't, you don't play with guns. Um... There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy's hungry. Timmy's tired. Okay, so I'm gonna feed everyone but Mary Jane. Let's see, I'm going to send Dolores out tomorrow. Oh gosh, that was probably, that was probably the radioactive parts. Who's sick? Who's sick? No one's sick yet. Okay, gosh. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad, guys. Okay. Um, I actually skipped stuff a lot. Okay, everyone, everyone's going to need water tomorrow besides Timmy. Who <laughs> said Dolores out? Um, we still don't have a weapon, so I'm just going to give her the gas mask, which I keep skipping. There it is. Alright. We're probably going to be followed, I have a feeling, with this one. It's been a while since we've actually been, we haven't been followed in this game yet. Okay, we have five more days, guys, until I pause this video. Okay, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Oh, so she needs water. Timmy's fine. Okay, Dolores is on her way. So we should probably give Mary Jane and Ted water. Okay. Alright, so another radio thing which we can't do. Day 21, guys. Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, that's just the thing that happened yesterday. I don't even want to read it. I don't even know what I missed out on. Okay, so Timmy just needs water. Oh, I just gave water to Mary Jane, didn't I? Oops. Uh, 
Oops. Okay, let's take that water. We don't have a lot of water left. Uh, trip to south. Remember that one. Okay. Let's see. Day 22, guys. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Um, everyone's hungry besides Ted. I'm gonna feed them tomorrow. Hopefully they don't die. Okay, let's kill these cockroaches now. Don't know how I didn't do that the first time. Um, fine. Blanc. Yes! Oh, and she's back. Oh, and she got us a radio, guys! Yay! Okay, so we won the battle and made him the whole war. war. The massacre was over. We tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them next to our shelter door. Let's let that be a warning to all the other insects out there. Don't mess with us. Okay, so Dolores has come back safely. She's got the gas mask. That nearby docks ne house some fancy looking boats. One of them managed to survive the tidal wave caused by the atomic blast. Well, kind of. It landed on our neighbor's house. <laughs> it looked worth checking out. <coughs> the captain's cabin was a mess. But we managed to dig through it and even fi find a fancy hat and a working radio. We weren't sure which one should we ha should we take. Tough choice, but we ultimately decided to take the radio. Mary Jane's diet could use some food. Um, okay, so everyone just needs food and one. Okay, Timmy is hungry. Uh, is everyone hungry? Wait. Okay, let's just give food to everyone. All right, um, there's another phone call. It might just be an ad this time. I don't know what happens once you get the ad after the thing, so. We haven't started any of the rescue parts yet. All right, oh, one more day, guys. It's just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone. And we've already read that, so I'm not going to reread that for you guys. Okay, Mary Jane needs water. Timmy needs water. Everyone needs water. Dolores. There's some water, Dolores. Everyone's taking the water now. Okay, um. Who in the world? Oh, okay, um. Well, we shouldn't have grown that plant, apparently. That was a bad choice, guys. Okay, this is the last day. Hopefully, everyone's alive and not dead from the tentacles. Um. <laughs> Bug spray offense is the best defense. Die, you plant mutant. Die. Shh. Phew. That was pretty terrifying. We should probably stick to soup cans instead of growing anything. The climate is definitely not suitable for any serious gardening. Mary Jane says she's fine. Timmy's a strong boy. Um, Dolores is not eaten in a while. Ted is not complaining today, so let's feed Dolores. And that will be all for today, guys. Alright. Bye.